Okay, guys, so here's the deal. I'm going to kind of go through everything that's expected next week. Um, maybe it might be a little bit easier to go through a, a video um, and looking at the papers that go in your book box. So just bear with me. We're going to do little by little so you can watch this and know what's expected for the week. Okay, first thing, if you don't have an iPad or a computer or a device that you feel comfortable doing Google Classroom, uh, watching YouTube, you need to let me know. Have your mom or dad let me know because we have some to check out for people who don't have any devices or internet. So first things first, you need to email or remind message or Google chat, whatever, and let me know if you need a device or internet. And here's the deal with AR. They are not letting people coming into the library too much of a risk of germs. So you or your parents need to message, Google Chat, Remind, whatever, and tell me what book you would like me to check you out for you and I can put it in your book boxes or your bags on Friday when you guys come collect homework. So if you don't really know what book you want, um, look on the library's website, look on Amazon, look on the internet of any cool books that you want to read and see if they have it. And if you send Mrs. Ecker a message, I will check it out under your name and get that to you. So remember to keep reading and keep testing. All right, I just wanted to show you the link on how to find library books that you wanted to browse through or check out. So I will share my screen and you guys can look with me on how to look for some different books so you can tell Mrs. Zacher what you'd like to check out when I send work with you on Fridays. So you would go to the Holly homepage, just as you normally would if you're gonna take a test or um, link to that. You are gonna go to elementary at the top. And then under elementary, you're gonna go down to media center. This is going to be our library page. We don't really care much about these dots, but over on the side, we have this little thing that says search our books. And remember, if you guys want to take a test at home, it's just AR. So we're going to search our books. And there are a whole bunch of schools here. And you know that Holly starts with H. So you're going to scroll down to the bottom and you're going to hit Holly Public School. And we are, the, of course, the elementary school. So we're going to click elementary. And, oh, where is it? We have Mod Heart Box Top. It's actually up here in the top that says Catalog. So if you want to look um, for books and see if they're in, you can just find the books right here. Maybe if you're like, hmm, you know, I know I like dogs. I'm just going to search some dog books. There's going to be a whole bunch of books that maybe come up with dogs. Or if you know that you guys wanted to start the Treehouse books. No, the 91 story tree house over on the side you see how it says one of one available that means that we have one so there's a 91 but look at this if you wanted the 26 story you see over here there's zero of two so make sure if there's anything available it'll tell you how many so the 39 story has one of two but these do you see how it all says zero they don't have any okay and the other thing is let's just say you're trying to think of some cool ideas for books just go guys search in the book um in the search bar Great books for fourth grade. See, look at all these ones that you could look at. Ooh, that one looks good. Where the Red Fern Grows, Shiloh is a great book. So you can kind of just click along and see if you like any of these. The internet will tell you a lot of great things how to do that. So if you're ever um, out of a book and need me to check you one out, make sure that you look around first. Tell me what book you'd like and I can get it for you. Check it out and I will give it to your stuff on Friday. Another thing to remember is you need to subscribe and sign up to our YouTube channel. That's where me and Mrs. McEvers are going to be teaching these next few months, okay? Well, one month. So I'm going to be doing reading lessons. You're going to have worksheets and works to go along with it, different assignments. Mrs. McEvers is going to be teaching her math le just lesson, and you're going to have to do the math box pages. So make sure that you are subscribed to our YouTube channel because that's how you're going to be able to learn and watch everything that we're doing. So if you just type our name, Caitlin Zacker and Janet McEvers, you should be able to find us on YouTube. Okay, so first things first, I am going to share my screen with you so we can go through a couple things to get you through this first week, okay? So I am going to show you what's going on on my screen, and you'll be able to do this on your screen. So the first thing that we are going to look for is YouTube, okay? So you just click a new tab wherever you do things. You're just going to Google YouTube.com. 
and you're usually going to come up to the big screen here um, many different options so you are going to search just search my name okay caitlin zacker and you're going to see that i'm the first one here's some videos this is my channel okay so click on my name and you should be able to, there should be a button somewhere that says subscribe. My screen looks a little bit different than yours, but if you subscribe, then you're going to get all the notifications when I upload new videos, okay? So here's the um, different ones that I have already. I've done some refugees and things like that. All right, next to YouTube, another important thing we're going to be using during this distance learning is your Google. You're really going to have to get good at your Google stuff and make sure that you know how to find everything. Um, remember, the big thing is your waffle, okay? We're really going to have to know where our waffle is, what apps we're going to use, and get really used to doing that. So I'm going to show you um, how we get to everything. This week is going to be a little more paper, but as we get through this within the next month, it's going to be a lot more on our Google Classroom. So just so we remember how to do this. If you are using an iPad, guys, make sure that you download the apps. Make sure you have Google Hangouts. Make sure you have Gmail. Make sure you have Google Classroom. Get all that downloaded so it's super easy. If you sign in once, you're going to be good to go. So remember, here's my Google, my waffle. Here's all our stuff. So remember, Classroom. This is where all your classes are. So if you're doing something with Mrs. McEvers, she'll be putting her stuff in her math. Reading for me. You're going to have stuff in here for Mr. Van Den Eichel, Mr. Baxter, okay? So there's going to be things on there that you're going to have to do throughout the week. So I would get used to checking that every day, okay? So classes is a big one. In your waffle too, there's something called Gmail. Mrs. Zacker actually sent you an email. So if you could click that little envelope, or it kind of looks like an M, if you could open that and reply to my email, that would be great. Try it out. And then the one that most of you have been using already is Hangouts. That's where we've been having our class chat. Some of you have been chatting with other friends. Um, we are actually going to do one-on-one -on -one meetings throughout the week. So once a week, me and you are going to chat. You're also going to chat with Mrs. McEvers. Um, we're just going to start a one-on-one. -on -one. So I'll start a conversation with you. We'll call, we'll chat, and just to kind of get checked in. So make sure you have this also downloaded on one of your devices, okay? So the biggest ones we're going to use are Hangouts, Classroom, and then Gmail. So if you could get used to checking those daily, downloading on your apps, that would be extremely smart to do. So Classes, make sure you're part of all of those to make sure you're part of your gym and music. Everybody should have that. And the weird thing, not weird, but kind of cool, actually. Um, this way, uh, this week, to turn in assignments, we are going to have you guys take pictures of it. So after you complete a reading worksheet, after you complete a math journal, you or your mom or whoever has a phone is going to take a picture of it and send it to me. They're going to email it to me. They're going to remind chat it to me because we're going to kind of have a hard time getting papers. We don't want you bringing them back and forth. So once I get a picture and I say, okay, thanks, received it, you can actually throw it away. So we're going to try that first. Um, taking pictures of the assignments and sending it to your teacher and then throwing it away essentially um, and see how that goes. Maybe as the weeks go on, we'll think of some cool other ways to do it. We could maybe do our math boxes online. That'd be kind of cool. Do our reading worksheets online. So that would be kind of fun. So um, just know that it's really important that you get YouTube and Google hooked up. Make sure you have a device. And please, I am always on Google Chat. I am always on Gmail. I'll always be at my computer. So always ask me for any questions.